to Mad Dog here. So a response video um, to Prep Adele. He's tagged me um, regarding the five C's of bushcraft and survival. So this is my response video to uh, Prep Adele. Great guy, check his channel out. Some good uh, varied content on there. So go check him out. That's Prep Adele. Um, so let's cut to it. The five C's, what I would choose. Now for me, this is an awkward sort of subject really because I'm, I'm sort of saying that the five C's will vary depending on your situation, whether it is a true survival situation or a bushcraft situation. In my opinion, they're two different genres altogether. But <clears throat> for the purposes of this video, I'll show you what I would choose, which would roughly cover both of those genres. So first C, cover. So for cover, I've got a waterproof standard British Army poncho which you can obviously use that, turn that into a basher by tying the hood off, make a small tarp out of it, or cover yourself and your kit, if you've got any more kit, a Bergen, etc. When the weather's bad, gives you a little bit of protection from the rain and a bit more insulation to keep warm. That's the first thing. Secondly, I've got a standard tarp here, just folded up nice and light, waterproof. This is an eight by six, I think it was, tarp. So, as everybody knows you can make several different types of shelter with that you know check it out on the channels there's loads of ways of doing that um, so that's the first C the second C is cordage so obviously paracord that's a given really for how much it weighs and for how much of it you can carry also some bank line this is like the waxed bank line it's really strong great for making snares traps general usage great all round bit of kit and as you can see, I carry some of this on my lapel here on the shoulder because it takes no extra room, no weight, it's always there. So that would be my choice for cordage. Now, <coughs> container. These will be my choices for containers. An aluminium flask to gather your water. You always need a collection vessel. A cook pot for cooking food and, more importantly, boiling water in. And also, as a true survival situation, a Ziploc bag couple of straws and some water purification tablets so you can gather water filter it through a sock or whatever method you use chuck the straw in and a water purification tablet within half an hour you can drink drink that water so that will be my containers and combustion this is the uh, what we are now one two three fourth so obviously a ferro cerium rod and striker but my number one choice with some fat wood I've even got fire cord, um, paracord there as well for an extra tinder source. And because we're talking survival, not bushcraft, a good quality, in this case it isn't, but a good quality, reliable lighter, why make life hard work? You know, when you don't have to, we're talking survival, not bushcraft. That's, that's where my opinion differs a bit on this. Obviously for bushcraft, then your 5C kit would change. <coughs> and last but not least, cutting. <coughs> for cutting I've chosen <coughs> excuse me I've chosen British Army knife because it's a heavy duty big old tank of a thing that keeps a really good sharp edge for every day you name it you can do it with it right down to fine stuff for feather sticks and you can pretty much use this as an axe it's strong enough you know so it covers all that sort of criteria and a good folding saw whether it be a wire rope saw or a, a folding push pull saw like this so that would be my 5c choices for survival <coughs> like i say if i was doing this for bushcraft then my kit would be changed slightly i'd have better cooking equipment better setup you know you'd have a snug kit or more basically more kit than what i'm showing here but they will be my five go-to items to cover the five c's of survival um, so I'm going to pass this tag on now to AB Survival, my young man, young uh, young man, mate, friend, great channel, high quality videos, knows his stuff for a young chap. I recommend checking his channel out. That's AB Survival. So I'm shouting this one out to you, mate. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, all well and good. But I'm tagging you in, mate, to show us what your <coughs> excuse me choices of five C's would be. So that wraps this one up. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Take care out there. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah.